What is going on guys? It's the Pure Experience here bringing you another Black Ops 3 best class setup video. Today we're going to be focusing on the Razorback. The Razorback is a fully automatic submachine gun. It's got the best accuracy within its class and is ideal for mid-range engagements. It says that because, well, at close range it can be a bit inconsistent due to it having a slow fire rate. You know, you're not going to kill the enemy up close as quick as you would with something like the Vespa, the VMP or the CUDA. If you get headshots then it's going to kill them quick obviously, but at long range as well this weapon can be a bit inconsistent and again can be a bit of a hit marker machine but it definitely does excel at medium to long distances. Uh, I'd say this weapon is more of a hybrid weapon and well with all that being said we're going to jump straight into the class setup. So kicking this class setup off as usual we have the wild card known as primary gunfighter 1 to unlock one additional attachment slot for your primary weapon. Moving on to the attachments, we have the ELO sight, grip, extended mags, and fast mags. The ELO sight isn't necessary. In fact, any sight on the Razorback isn't necessary. I just prefer it with a sight, and so do many others. The ELO sight, which is the emitted light optic, iron sights with a floating illuminated reticle is just better than the red dot sight as it takes up less space while aiming down your sights. It just looks better on the weapon as well. Moving on to grip, grip reduces recoil while aiming on your sights. I believe after the Black Ops 3 beta, they did nerf the Razorback by adding a bit more recoil to it. So grip is going to reduce the recoil while aiming on the sights. Of course, it's going to benefit you at medium to longer distances where this weapon excels uh, and is at its best. Moving on to extended mags, extended mags is going to of course give you more ammo in each magazine and the low fire rate isn't going to blaze through the ammo. What is going to blaze through the ammo is the fact that this weapon is on the weakest side uh, of the SMGs. I believe it's the second weakest gun of course, the Weevil being the first, total piece of crap that weapon. Uh, but the Razorback is definitely the second weakest, bit of a hit mark machine at some, uh, at some points. But um, extended mags can help you with that, giving you a nice load of 42 bullets in a magazine. And to go with that, we're going to have fast mags to allow us to reload faster. Everyone likes to reload faster, get back into the action a little bit quicker, and just, you know, feels better as well. So that is the attachments. Moving on to our secondary. Of course, we have no secondary, as we spent a hell of a lot of points on our primary. Going down to lethal and tactical, we have no lethal. We do have a tactical, which is a concussion, distorts enemies and slows movements. Kind of one of my favourite kind of throwables or tacticals I use it uh, just to slow enemies as it says and uh, I kind of finish them off it, it kind of indicates me if there's someone around the corner and it's good for bursting into a room as well because it'll slow uh, everyone down in that room and you can just kill them it's, it's quite a good tool or accessory to use in my opinion along with a flashbang maybe as well uh, moving on to our pack list our pack list doesn't really change at all with me I rarely change what I do have in number one uh, is flat jacket take less damage from enemy explosives if you've been uh, watched any of my videos you'll notice i'm against a lot of people with rcxds rocket launchers and a lot of grenades so flat jacket is gonna uh, basically allow me to sponge explosives and in the process piss people off as well it's always good to do that uh, going down to peg number two we have fast hands uh, we have no quick draw so we're gonna need at least fast hands uh, swap weapons faster we don't need that what we do need it for is aim faster after sprinting of course we don't have quick draw so we're kind of setting ourselves back there we've not been able to ads fast so don't uh, use anything else other than fast hands otherwise you'll penalize yourself even more trying to sprint and you know kind of getting caught off the sprint and no one likes getting caught off the sprint moving on to peg number three a blast suppressor no minimap signature when thrust jumping, uh, thruster sound is suppressed. Just kind of uh, what I always use, maybe tactical mask will be a good one, but I just prefer uh, blast suppressors so I can kind of flank and at least uh, I'm not seen on the map when I'm trying to use my movements. So it's always good to use blast suppressor. And basically that's the class setup. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, please drop a like and in comment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.